did President Biden put more effort into getting infrastructure passed, for example? Well, he he got infrastructure passed, and that's a good thing because success can can breed success. He is putting the full force of the presidency behind it. I think the problem for the Democrats right now is is not that they have bad leaders. They have bad followers. We've known for some time at TYT that Democratic strategists are largely useless corporate media talking heads who just like to hear themselves speak on MSNBC or CNN. But this past weekend, Paul Begala sunk to a new low, blaming Democratic voters for not getting in line with the party's leaders. The problem for the Democrats right now is, is not that they have bad leaders. They have bad followers. Now, I don't know Paul Begala very well, but a quick Twitter bio scan warns that he was a counselor to President Clinton. This to me hints that he's been circling in Washington in and out of different administrations, just trying to stay relevant. You know you have a truly losing message when people like Stephen Miller congratulate you, saying that this is the way to go. Other reactions from online captured just how tone deaf this remark was, especially as to the issue of voting rights. As I mentioned in my appearance on the Damage Report last week, there are students literally hunger striking for voting rights right now. Are those the bad followers Bigala is talking about? Hunger strikes are, are no joke. They are incredibly serious. But I think what we need to look at deeper is this just sense of desperation. And we have a generation um, of kids who don't think that they can, that their voices matter at all, despite being taught from when they were young that they do. So the fact that Fox News isn't taking this opportunity to I mean, I think we're lucky that they're not taking the opportunity to say, hey, you know, the Republican Party and Fox News can offer you some solutions. We're lucky that they're not smart enough to do that. Are we the bad followers or is it Biden and the democratically controlled House and Senate that lacks political will? When Biden told us he could get the moderate Democrats in on his agenda during the primary and people like Elizabeth Warren and Bernie Sanders couldn't, we believed him and voted for another moderate. And what has that gotten us so far? Begala went on to summarize an essay he had read from a former confidant of Martin Luther King, who asked the leader with deep concern about President Lyndon Johnson claiming that they couldn't pass voting rights legislation because he'd used all his political capital on the Civil Rights Act. Him for a voting rights act. Johnson says, I can't do it. I, I used all my power to get the Civil Rights Act done last year. I don't have the power to push Congress any further on voting rights. As they left the White House, Andy Young's words, he said, I asked softly, I asked Dr. King what he thought. He said, I think we got to go get the president some power. And so you know what they did? They organized, these are Andy Young's words, we mobilized the churches, the universities, the labor unions, the business community, a coalition of people of goodwill. In other words, those of us who want to say voting rights, we need to get to work. Now, Mr. Bagala, it might be hard for you to see from so high up in your ivory tower in Washington, D.C., but people are organizing. Organizers are the ones who won two Georgia Senate seats for your precious party. The question isn't what more can we do for the party, it's what will the Democratic Party finally do for us? Thanks so much for watching. You can follow me on all platforms at carojohnson917.